Hey guys, I'm trying to figure out why this stupid soda can is rattling. <sighs> All right, guys, so today this is a little bit of a different video. I want to make something really clear to you guys. I have always made it very clear and very well known that I appreciate you guys more than I will ever be able to explain because I realize the impact that subscribers have on a YouTuber's channel. You know, I've seen my subscribers grow and I've also seen a few of them leave over time. And that's something that I always realized, um, you know, was part of doing commentary. And I've addressed that before, how when you do commentary, your audience can sometimes become a bit of a revolving door because someone will find your channel and you know based on one or two or one or two videos and they'll agree with you and they think that you're spot on on your opinions and then some time goes by and a few more videos come out and they no longer agree with what you're saying and they decide to leave and that's okay I've always made my decision off YouTubers based off a prolonged sort of pattern of behavior, but to each is their own. It's all good. I want you guys to always understand that my appreciation for each of my subscribers has nothing to do with me trying to um, build stands. It's not me trying to build an echo chamber by showing appreciation. My appreciation comes from years of me watching YouTubers and years of watching YouTubers not appreciate their, you know, subscribers and not responding to comments and not liking comments and not answering their DMs or responding to emails. So everything that I experienced as a subscriber to a lot of my favorites, I have made it a point to do the opposite with my own subscribers. Does that make sense? It is so important to me that each of you guys feels like you have a voice and you are being acknowledged and you are being appreciated. And that has nothing to do with anything else. And I guess I just wanted to kind of take this reminder or take this opportunity to remind you guys that just because you like a YouTuber and you like their content and you agree with their opinions and you like their vibe, and even if you echo their same opinions elsewhere on the internet or whatever it is, none of that makes any of you all um, part of an echo chamber or part of a stan kind of mentality. That just means that you like the YouTuber and you agree with them. This is something I've been really tired of for a very long time is the term Stan being thrown around like it's going out of style. Stan culture is in fact very real and it is also very dangerous, not only to the person who is being a stan, but also to the person that they are standing, because this is where you get into um, people becoming overly obsessed with 
public figures, going to public figures' homes. You know, the, the, there is a reason why Eminem wrote the song Stan. And the traits that have been exhibited in that, you know, in that music video that's so iconic now, those are things that people will actually do. And I just get so tired of, you know, oh, well, you agree with them and you like their content, you're a stan. Oh, you want to um, voice, you know, your opinion about your, one of your favorite YouTubers, you're a stan. Nobody's a stan. It's, it's all just so ignorant. And I see this a lot of times where really ignorant people try to, ignorant as far as their way of thinking, in my opinion, try to formulate an argument and have a conversation about something that they know nothing about and it just becomes so cumbersome and annoying. I've had a couple of you got I've had a couple of you guys reach out to me and sort of express some thoughts as well and I just wanted to take this video as an opportunity to let you guys know that just because you like someone and you like their content and you agree with what they have to say, that does not make you a stan. I don't ever, at least for me, I can only speak for myself, I don't ever want anyone to stan me. And I would never encourage that because that's not only dangerous for the person who is standing, their mental health and their well-being, but like I said, it's also can be very dangerous for um, me as the creator or whoever, you know, in whoever the influencer is or whatever. So I just think that's completely asinine. I, I really wish that people that people that don't know how to have an educated conversation about this to be throwing around these egregious claims and consistently finger pointing. All, all, all that it does is waste time and waste energy. So either way, but I did want to also thank you guys for all of your support. I know that, I know that the last you know, four to six weeks has been very interesting time, especially compared to what was happening before that. It's just been a really interesting time. And I know that some of you guys um, have been scratching your heads right along with me. But I really want to just say thank you. And, you know, thank you for your support and the kind words and the emails, you know, or the DMs just to check on me and, you know, open up a conversation. Like, let's, let's talk about it. Let's have this discussion. Like, I don't know. I, I just, I said, I said in a video recently that I have been finding my community one person at a time and whether those people are temporary or permanent um, occupants of my channel, I still appreciate every single one of them. And I am so beyond grateful and just, you know, I, I still get very shocked by the fact that I have over 9,000 subscribers now. Like that is just crazy to me that I am on the way to 10,000. And, you know, on, on one side of the coin, the number has never been a big deal to me. But on the opposite side of the coin, I look at it like a, a larger community. I am finding my 
corner of the internet in my little community one person at a time and I'm just I'm still shocked you know it, it comes back to that thing like they really like me and I hate to like sound so cheesy about it but it's true you know I've, I've always been the type of person that has never had um, a ton of friends like you know y'all know my history I'm not going to hash that out today but y'all know So either way, you guys, I am going to take care of a couple things and then I will check in with you. There is a chance when you see me again that I will have Axel with me, but we shall see. So I will check in with you guys in just a few. All right, guys, I am all done. Sorry for the weird lighting in here. The parking garage diaries. So either way, I know that this video seems a little random, a little all over the place, but I just don't want anyone on my channel to ever feel like just because you're voicing your support for me or for anyone else for that matter, I don't want anyone to ever feel like they are being misrepresented and being called a stan or anything like that. That can be very detrimental to someone who supports a YouTuber. So what we're going to do now is I am going to, I'm actually going to um, pick up Axel and um, I might include a little clip of, you know, he was, he was basically, he's been hanging out with my boyfriend They're they're, they're at a park right now. So I'm picking him up so my boyfriend can ride his bike and, you know, do stuff without having, you know, to worry about Axel being there. And plus Axel gets tired. It's a whole thing. So if anything, I might time lapse our, um, part of our drive going back home. And then that will close out the vlog because I know that you guys love to see Axel. So Axel is the star of the show around here, which is fine by me. But I do, I, I really appreciate you guys so much. If it wasn't for, if it wasn't for your support, the last couple of months, I do think that there would have been maybe a couple times where I would have just kind of like not known where to go. Like, what do I do with my content? What finding that motivation is sometimes hard if you feel like you haven't found your community yet. But I have found my community and it's grown so much. And I'm just so grateful to have you guys here with me for this journey. I don't know where things will take me in the future, but it's just so cool to have people that want to see videos from me, whether it's running errands or talking about stuff that is more serious, like the James Charles stuff, or just giving commentary on these mommy vloggers that are so phony in my opinion. You guys are here for all of it and I will always voice my appreciation for that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to pick up, sorry, I'm messing with my hair. I feel like it just isn't sitting right today. So I'm going to go pick up Mr. Axel and I will insert a little clip in the end of this video, but you are not a stan, you are not a troll, y'all are my community, and you guys keep me in check when I need to be kept in check, 
and we have a really awesome thing going here so i just want to thank you guys so much so for now if you like the video please leave a like in the comments and if you'd like to see more from me in the future please subscribe i'll see you guys soon bye